Wrong side local anaesthetic blocks are a common never event. Never events are serious, largely preventable patient safety incidents that shouldn't occur if existing guidance or safety recommendations have been implemented. There is a specific list of never events published by the Department of Health and wrong side block is one of these. Despite the WHO surgical safety checklist being implemented in all hospitals across the UK, there are still many never events occurring. There have been over a thousand events between 2014 and 2018. There are many things that can go wrong, as is shown here, and as you can see, wrong side local anaesthetic block is the commonest wrong side site surgery. The main causes are haste, operational pressures and being distracted. However, this can be prevented. Just having the WHO surgical safety checklist in place is not enough to prevent errors. It's how the checklist is performed that's important. There are two stages where checks by the anaesthetist can prevent a wrong side block from occurring. The first one of these is the WHO surgical safety sign-in, but this must be done by both the anaesthetist and the anaesthetic assistant together before any sedation is administered. This will confirm that the, we have the correct patient, the correct procedure and the correct side uh, of the procedure is confirmed with the consent form and the mark is visualised. The second step is to perform a stop before you block, immediately before performing the local anaesthetic procedure. This is a formal pause where there are three repeated checks with the assistant, as I say, immediately before the procedure is performed, confirming the side, visualising the arrow and double checking with the consent form, as is demonstrated. Okay, fair enough. as we discussed mm -hmm. beforehand, I'm just going to do an injection with your leg now just to help you with your post op yeah. pain control. Before we do that, we just want to stop before we block. We're going to confirm you are Fiona Art yeah. and you are having a left knee replacement, right. yeah? So, left knee, and that's the knee that's marked. Yep, and we're going to do an adductor canal one. Okay. okay, so let's get that started. Ready? However, Errors will only be prevented if we do all of the checks on all of the patients all of the time and we embed a culture that ensures that we do pause at those important moments. Times of risk in particular are if there's been a delay between the sign-in and performing the block. Turning the patient may move the side relative to the anaesthetist, so rechecking the side is essential. Distractions are an important cause of errors. Um, excess personnel or interruptions in the anaesthetic room. Teaching is a distraction in itself, but stop before you block is an essential part of teaching how to do a block and must be reinforced. If the side mark is covered by the sterile drape or a distance away from the block, then the visual aid um, is missing. Again, stop before you block is essential. So extra vigilance is required. Always pause immediately before doing any block. And remember, stop before you block.